Welcome to Let's Play It'll Do 2. At the rate there was a sequel, I mentioned this as much earlier, that there was indeed a sequel to the first It'll Do. It'll Do 2, still made by Ludosity, has amped it up a little bit with a much larger world map. The whole game is in 3D on top of that. And let me tell you, having just played it a little for a little bit, this game is quality. You can feel it. So let's go ahead and start a new game. Um, I'll call my file name It'll Two, I guess. Eden Carver, no! That is an excellent question, and my answer is... is... Who was driving? Was it the skull? Maybe Eaton Carver's still alright, though. We don't know if that was him. We don't know what was going on. That could have been some other dude's skull. That we are, and we have come here for a grand time. Well, poop. I don't know if I can swim that far. Maybe if I, like, passed out and just kind of drifted somewhere. Or that! I mean, we came here for adventure and a raft. That's like two birds, man. Poof, I say poof! We're a certified adventurer. We can do what we want. As long as there's adventure involved. Of course, you have to make them. You can't just grow a raft. So we're here in fluffy fields. Look how fluffy it is. Now, it has been said that the map shows the location of the next recommended dungeon. However, that does not necessarily mean that that is the next dungeon you have to go to. In fact, you can tackle the first seven of eight dungeons in this game in any order you want. Now, before we get going too far... Why is that guy sweating so much? These guys don't even hurt you. These poor guys. They just dispense hearts sometimes. So before we go much anywhere, I'm going to take off running to a very specific location. So you can look at the map, I just went down this way some. I'm running to the... you can also do this. There's a roll button, and if you roll down a thing, you can go away. Okay, so apologies if I'm just kind of shooting blindly forward. Um, I made a wrong turn somewhere. This is mostly because I want to get to something specific, because I do very much intend to 100% this game. 
That's my intention anyway. We will, of course, see how well that works. But, um, if you do want to 100% it, there is something specific you have to do. And in that, I've already failed it. Hmm. So I'm going to blitz my sorry bot all the way... here. A changing tent. There are outfits in this game. Seven, in fact, theoretically. And once you unlock them, you can come here, then you just whack the outfit. That's what we're already wearing. And you put it on. So of all the outfits that you can get, there are... I'm gonna say a non-zero amount that aren't part of the seven here. So... I'm gonna quit. And I'm gonna make a new game. And this time, we're gonna call it... Jenny Berry. I'm Jenny Berry! I'm one of the Jennies. And your and Tipsy is now an ice cream cone. So once you have this outfit, um, the only way to get this outfit is by naming your game Jenny Berry. Um, technically, this is something that's not revealed until much later in the game. Going the wrong way. Um, it's technically not revealed until much later in the game, but if you do want to 100%, that doesn't mean you have to start with this. So we're starting here, and we're just going to cut out the middleman. And now there's a new slot here for the Ginny Berry outfit. But let's go back to Idle. Hey, we're back at the beginning. How about that? Okay, so as I'm sure many of you have guessed at this point, there is a decent sized map to this game, and it's only revealed as we explore. The caves that you see, the little door open doorways, are various caves and mini challenges that you encounter on the way. Such as this one right here, in front of this. It's your deal, dude. Hmm. Boss robots, eh? Once you've been in a cave and done everything there is to do in it, you see a little check mark appear right there on the cave. This is our first dungeon right here. We're gonna get back to that one. Oh, yeah, I can go over here. I'm going to start by exploring. Hey there. I remember you. So this game is, I'm gonna say notably more combat oriented. That was a teleporter. So you see now that door's got a T on it and it took us to where we are now, which is way the heck over here. So there was a door just up here. Hmm. There are also a lot of hidden doorways. Not all of them appear on the map, just as you 
wander around. And the ones that don't appear just as you wander around instead show up or you get hints as to where they are and how to access them. In the fields, eh? Well, how do you like... You're nothing! I owe you nothing! Okay, so in the fields, right, there's a secret out here? Hey! You guys look mean. So these guys are the same as the spinning ones before that we saw. Thankfully, they also hit each other. And I'm getting wrecked hard. Okay, there, I killed one. That should make my life easier because I can get distance from this guy. Hey, I did it! Hmm. We'll find out, I'm sure. So today, to start, I'm going to spend just a little bit of time running around in this starter area here. But I'm going to hold off on doing the dungeon. Next time, I feel like we're going to run around everywhere. Gotta map everything out. You never know when you're going to find something or you're not going to find something. So let's see here. There's something suspicious looking over here. Oh... Theoretically, once I come back with eight of those horn things, I can maybe do something. In the meantime, I look like we're going this way. Hmm. It's a fine looking flat candy cane, though. I may a li be a little. That's cool. Gonna have to remember to come back here. You shut up. What are you? That's a picture of something that I'm sure we'll see much later. So fudge your boxes. I saw cracks on the wall. A cave scroll! So the cave scrolls, you can see the little green X on the map just a little bit above me to the left. Whenever you get a cave scroll, it shows you where an optional cave is. One of the ones that doesn't show up just by walking past it. Now, how difficult it is to get it to show up is a different matter. There we go. All right, more hints, that's cool. I saw the crack in the wall. That's a lot of barrels. It's all for that completion percentage. And the joy of breaking a lot of things. But yeah, so we get out of that now and got a little check mark on it. Alright. Cool beans. Okay. Jenny's. Jenny Cat. 
There's also a day-night cycle. That's cool. You a Jenny Mole? There are status effects in this game. So this is just a quick bit of info about what each one is. So the optional scrolls that you can get, um, or the scrolls that show you the optional locations for caves, if you already have all the caves, then instead you get a... Um, I'll make all the mess I want! Making all the mess! You're welcome. I like you. I think her name is Lenny instead of Jenny. Fishbun Tar. Ah, and the teleporter square. The warp garden! That's it. That's what it's called. So as we run around in the overworld, we'll find teleporters. You'll note we've unlocked two already. This one I just kind of ran by, sort of, while it was way off screen. But uh, this one is the one near the place with the changing room. Okay, so I've not been in here. Dang! Well, I'll take this anyway. Another one. Too bad. I like that they say something different after you blow everything up. I'm sure it's nothing good at all. Okay, so I guess we've done most everything that there is to do down here. We've still got some more exploring to do, though, so let's go run around some more. We checked out the Jenny Town, the staff area. Got it. I'll never do it again. Hey, another one. I was. I like that for the most part, this game is pretty good at, um... I did it! Ah, uh, Medusas! Medusas! I did it. I'm a winner. And a sparkly ca sparkly portal. The Autumn Climb. So this is its own little individual place. This isn't even... on the overarching map. Oh, this place is also nasty. Because bees... Bees! I'ma die. That's what I'ma do. I'ma die. Bam! Did it! Done doing. Give me that! I got a tracker! Dungeon bosses on the map. Cool beans. So now in going through a dungeon, I can see where the dungeon boss is located. Nice. Uh, just one of various little power-ups that you'll find throughout the game. You got it.
Okay, so I could actually use a little bit of health. Because I kind of got beat up by bees. Yeah, well, I'm not doing that bad. Let's keep exploring. I'm going to hold off on going in that cave right now, up top, because I know there's a big mean guy in it. I'm going to get hit, so I'm going to wait until I have more life. Not like... Hey! Rude. Not like more life, more life. Just like... Fuller life. I do what I want. Can't just be telling me not to do something. Just makes you want to do it more. Look at me going. Yeah, open that cave. Okay, so this puzzle is sort of interesting in that it teaches you... something. And I'm trying to remember... Oh, it teaches you that you can shove blocks in the holes. Hey! Got another thing. I cannot currently do anything with that. But otherwise, we don't need bombs or anything in order to open these doors. It's just... You whack them real good. We're kind of strong that way. I mean... We're idle. Hey! Just break that door. Break that wall open. Smash it with my face. Okay, so another thing added to this game is that you can shove these crystals around. I got an outfit! Oh yeah! We're gonna have to go test that one out. Let me get the heck out of here first, though. Because these guys are around and they're kind of mean. They're all of them running around with their danger noodles. Okay, so the only thing left that I see in this area is right here to my right. What that thing? The pillow fort, of course. Or bushes growing out of walls. Hmm. I mean, now what? Okay, so, we haven't met him yet, but there is at some point someone who teaches you that every single cave on the overworld can be solved with only the stick. That doesn't necessarily mean it's suggested, but you can. So like, I know I can do that, I gotta stick that's on fire. You can't walk into the fire like you can in... Oh, I know what I gotta do. Okay. Bam! I got a lockpick! So if I ever, ever run across a locked door in a dungeon, I can kinda cheat it by just opening with one of these. That grass looked suspicious. Anything up here? Nope, just that teleporter. And I guess maybe if there's anything further up, but it doesn't look like there is. I mean, there may be, you never know. Yep, yeah, guess that's it, other than the one uh, nasty room. So let's go finish up that nasty room. That'll finish up, up for the moment. It's not like nasty nasty, it's just, I don't know, I want to have more health than that. 
Never mind, that actually is kind of nasty. By the way, you see that smoke? This guy comes out and sort of chases you down slowly and shoots at you. It is generally annoying and kind of hard to deal with. You can't kill him, by the way. You're just gonna deal with him. Okay, so dealing with you is gonna be rough. And by rough, I mean that's already about it for me. He doesn't give me enough time to, like, run up and hit him. So the idea is I'm going to wait for him to spin towards me. Not like that. Wrong button. Hey, dude. Other spin. Not that spin! That's okay, we just re-enter somewhere. So it also checkpoints us at the most recent uh, room we've been in, but it does keep track of everything else we've done. So it's purely a positional teleport to take us back there. So otherwise we can just go right back in and give it another try. So I want him to do the spin where he spins at me. That one. Dang it, man. I can also get him after the directional one. If, if I'm kind of lucky. Hey! Okay, it was rough. Got another one of these. That was rough, but that's actually, like, kind of a late-game enemy. That's not something we should be tackling right now. But hey, it's here. It's a guy. We can beat him up. I may have mentioned before, this game is, uh, reasonably... Oh, some enemies drop that electricity, which is a room clearer. Hit that kills everybody on the screen. So we're back at the start, uh, but we have been around a lot. We did a lot of things around here. We also ran around and did some other things. So how about that? Uh, I would say if I had to make a comparison, this game is... Like, obviously the previous It'll Do took a lot of inspiration from Zelda. This game, I feel, took a lot of inspiration from the original Legend of Zelda. Like, I can feel that in a lot of places in this game. But, until next time, everyone, when we take a look around a little.